Hey there, everybody. It's Nacho Supreme again. Uh, this time I am going to put together a tutorial to show you uh, what to do if you're pretty new to the game. Uh, maybe you've done a few races, you have a little bit of money, um, but you don't want to uh, get into trying to create and design uh, all your own paint jobs and liveries and decals and doing all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to show you a, an easy way um, you can have a sweet looking car um, without doing all the work. So um, what we're going to do is I've got this 88 uh, Toyota Super Turbo here, uh, one of my favorite, uh, you know, kind of rear wheel drive Japanese sports cars. Um, kind of blurs the line between 80s and 90s style, which I like. Um, but we're going to go ahead and um, back out of here. I just wanted to show you what we're working with. Um, this particular car does have basically everything thrown at it, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, all the racing hardware, all the cool upgrade parts, all that stuff. So, um, I mean, as it sits right now, you can see the top of the screen. I think I had it tuned for the 700 performance point uh, Lamar race, so I keep it around 700 pp, so um, 700 performance points. So, um, anyway, that's where it sits. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the showcase and you know hundreds of people have put in probably thousands of hours um, designing um, livery styles designs right liveries for this car and we're going to bank on um, all of their effort and expertise um, to try to make our car just look just as cool as theirs but without doing all the work because we're new to the game so we want to go to content search here and then we want to click this current car so it'll filter out every other livery that doesn't fit the car that we're in right now um, so now um, I'm gonna not put a keyword in uh, just to show you you know what's available what's out there um, you know you can start looking through here and there's gonna be um, a hundred so here if you look in the upper right corner um, there's 13 pages of these um, there's there's so many of them. I mean, you could go through, you could collect, I don't think there's a limit. You could collect as many of these as you want. Um, but just because I'm me and I like to make little livery designs for these cars too, I'm going to search for too spicy because um, that's what I put on or I have been putting lately on all of my stuff to make everything easy to find. So too spicy because um, Nacho Supreme. Uh, I'm going to search for that. So now I found this design here, which is the number seven TRD uh, Advan 88 Supra Turbo design that I made there. So let's check it out. We want to take a closer look. We can hit preview here, and we'll take a little look at this and see what it looks like. So got uh, Puma, Ibox Springs, uh, Motul oil cane and air filters. Um, you know. Pretty kind of basic here. Got a little Puma on the back there. Um, pretty decent looking wheels. So we're going to go ahead. We want to put that on the car that we're in right now. Um, we will notice this design here, this car we're looking at, does have a spoiler. It's got different wheels. Um, it's got a couple little arrow parts on it. Um, it's got a roll cage. Uh, so that is going to end up costing us some money if we want to make our car into this car. Um, so that is something to consider. Um, if you're planning on keeping a car and you're going to end in, you know, end up using it in some higher end races, that's going to be worth it anyway. Um, but what we're going to do, I forgot to do that while I was in here, is we want to hit collect. So we want to collect this piece, make sure that check mark is on there. So that means that we can use it. So we're going to back back out of here. We're going to close that. And now we're going to come over to GT Auto. You'll notice at the very top of the screen it shows what our car still looks like. It's still factory stock. Now GT Auto, um, I mean I'm not going to show you around, see what everything does. That's not the point of this. We're just going to come in here because we're going to customize our car. Now we're going to skip all of this. We don't need to do any of this. Remember, somebody's already spent however many hours figuring all this out to get to the design that we just collected. So we're going to hit load style. Now, 
I saved a factory stock version of this car so I could go back and forth. That's something you could do too. I'll make a separate tutorial on that so you can just go back and forth depending on what you're doing. Um, so here we go. Uh, we're going to click on that and it's going to show you what it looks like in your uh, car customizing garage here, your GT Auto showroom here. You can see what it's going to look like. Now once you hit apply style, it's going to figure out what aero parts you need, like I said, what wheels do you need to buy a different spoiler, the roll cage, all this different stuff, paint colors. Uh, some of the designs you're going to collect are going to have different paint colors on them and all this, you know, it's, it's going to cost some money. The other thing I didn't mention is a wide body. This car does have a wide body, so if your factory stock car is not wide body, you're going to hit apply style. This will force you to apply the wide body, I believe, or you're going to have to go back out um, to the other part of GT Auto, put a wide body on it, and come back. Uh, I'll make a separate tutorial on that. Um, if that's something that you need, please let me know. So anyway, I like how this looks. I'm in the right car. I'm going to hit Apply Style. Um, for me, it was a free replacement. I didn't have to buy all those bits. Um, you will probably have to. So here was my uh, basic tutorial on how to take a factory stock car, go find delivery, collect delivery, and apply it to your car. Thank you very much.